Good morning, everybody. And Richard, thank you very much for that introduction. So, look, I've got um, I've got some speech notes here, but to the horror of the marketing team, I'm going to start by not referring to any of that. Um, a couple of insights I thought I should just sort of set the scene. One is as I was being mic'd up, um, someone said to me, it must be like a Madonna experience. And I remarked that if I start to sing, you'd clear out pretty quickly. Um, and, and secondly, yes, look, um, I, I have been around a long time. I have a lot of experiences, but whether any of that translates to wisdom, um, you will be the judge. So look, thank you very much for being here. We welcome you and welcome those that are joining us uh, live via the webcast. Now, for those of you that came to Ford Live last year, um, I think I'd been at Genii about two or three months, and you might recall what I promised was a program of change. And I, I promised this program of change would have you, our customers, at the centre of it. And, uh, and, and that's what, indeed, we have set out to do in the last 12 months. We've been doing a lot of listening, a lot of listening to you. And, um, and let me tell you what the sort of summary of what you've told us. You've told us that all of you are grappling with the digital economy. So whether that means you're seeking to uh, engage with uh, or, uh, customers who live in the online world, whether that means you're looking to the digital uh, world to provide you with flexibility and innovation, whether you are frankly just looking to it to provide you with cost out opportunities. The digital world and the digital opportunity means different things to all of you, but that is front and centre of what nearly every organisation we talk to is telling us they're wrestling with. So you're transitioning um, at your own pace and you're also telling us that that pace of change has never been more rapid. And, uh, and, and frankly, we understand that because at Telecom and Genii, we're going through exactly the same thing, exactly the same thing. So we see a huge opportunity both to assist you as our customers, but also to take advantage of the digital and online world ourselves. So we're on that journey and we've made some very big rapid strides to reposition our entire business in terms of what we provide but also how we provide it. So we are undertaking a major strategic shift towards digital services. Um, we've always had, as data and mobility have always been very important to us, but absolutely never been more important. The other thing is, we are about New Zealand. Why is that important? Well, I was introduced as the CEO of Genii Australasia, and frankly, I think it's a bit of a grand overkill. Yes, we have an Australian business. What we seek to do is to help New Zealand customers operate and serve them in their Australian operations. That's what we look to do. And we've made a lot of changes in and around that business. You will also have seen us exit AAPT. And for those of you that follow the business pages, you'll also see that we are exiting some other overseas investments we have. Not because they are poor. All of that that we've announced so far brings about 500 million New Zealand dollars back here. And the reason we're doing that is we want to focus those resources on the New Zealand market, on your market, on our market. So we will make a stand for New Zealand. We will succeed or not, depending on what we do here in this country. So some of the things that you've seen us invest in, um, you will have heard that we've made a major move towards cloud infrastructure. You'll see, see us pur purchase Rivera into mobility, to managed IT, to platform as a service. We've invested hundreds of millions of dollars. I, I, I understand, and we added up, more than all of our competitors and all other folk in our industry together is the amount that we have been investing. Think between 500 and a billion dollars per annum in bringing this to life. And why have we done that? We want to ensure that we've got New Zealand's leading digital network, and we absolutely have, and the best cloud, and the best mobility. We've invested in optical transport network, the leading, 700 megahertz spectrum. We purchased more than anyone else at 20 megahertz, and that came at a huge cost. 22 million per block for the first three blocks, so three lots of 22 million, and then 83 million for the last block. You can add that up. It's a big number. That's just to have the spectrum for mobile. 
free Wi-Fi over a thousand hotspots, new data centres. We've built new data. We're building new data centre, one of the largest in New Zealand, down in Takanini, that is scheduled to open in around the August time frame of this year. We're build, building two, have built and are building two new data centres in Wellington. We've completed a brand new Greenfields one in Christchurch and upgraded a number of others in Dunedin and, and places like that. So massive, massive investments that we're making. And we're not just doing this all on our own. As you've seen, we have a lot of partners so we, we are partnering with the global experts, many of which are here today. And we partner with them, work with them, to bring new services to the New Zealand market. And by tapping into those solutions, and also those things provided by the wider telecom group, we can deploy that to you for, the, for your benefit. So Wi-Fi is something that's come from our digital ventures group. We have this group called Telecom Digital Ventures, and think of them as like Silicon Valley for New Zealand. The good news for them is Rod Snodgrass and his team, he gets a, a big check. Um, at the moment, he's not tasked with making any money. He's the crazy ideas guy. And he, he and his team of about 20 or 30 people, their job is to look at new ideas, new business opportunities, make them happen really fast, succeed fast or fail fast. So Wi-Fi was something that came from them. Um, another one, you may have seen us launch a business called Curious, which would be the leading data analytics company in New Zealand. So we would have spent more than 10 million in technology together with a number of very, very smart data scientists and feeds from all around New Zealand to create unique value. This is to, to do mining and creating unique information and unique value that helps our customers serve a segment, their customers serve segments of one. That's what we're doing. All of these things have all happened in a very, very short time, all of them in the last 12 months. So our aspiration, both at Genii and at Telecom Group, is to assist New Zealand, help New Zealanders and New Zealand business be successful in the digital and online age. That's what we're doing. And so to call ourselves Telecom and to continue, which we're very proud of what we do in telecommunications, and we want to be, and we are the leader in telecommunications. But we're also investing in more than that, more than telecommunications. And so that is why we decided we needed to change our name. And so frankly, within Genii, we were doing some brand work to figure out how do we morph the name Genii and how does it come to mean something but different, and it's sort of telecom plus. But we reached the same conclusion as the rest of the telecom business, that actually we needed to take the best things about telecom and morph that into what will now become Spark, and Genii will become Spark Digital Solutions. If I was to encapsulate this change in a single statement, it would be this. We have the opportunity for the first time, instead of focusing our business around a piece of copper wire or a piece of fibre, we now can truly centre our business around you, our customers. And I imagine every one of you in this room would go, oh, we're a customer-centred business, and I'm sure, you know, we, Telecom, Genii, we think the same way. But actually doing it and saying it are two very different things. So, for example, we have a massive re-engineering programme that we're undertaking at the moment, and... You know, it's in the order of hundreds of millions of dollars. And what it's about is to simplify our IT stack. So where we, where we don't uh, satisfy you sometimes, areas where customers talk to me about, Tim, we wish you guys could change this. Nearly always, it's something caused by the way the systems are configured. Because the systems are configured around the telecommunications, around the, around the technology, and systems should be configured around you. And so we have a massive program of work to turn our, our IT on its head. And, and the first big drops of that re-engineering program are actually happening in the next few weeks. So, um, so wish us luck. I think there are 183 systems or applications being affected, or some number like that, by the first drop. So it's enough to try terror into the hearts of any sane IT professional. So um, if you're looking for the people who are leading the insanity, if Claire Barber's in the room, you can have a chat with her and see what that's all about. But it's um, her and her team are, are charged with doing that. So what I'm trying to, 
what I'm trying to outline here is, I guess, a pace of change and a depth of change that has been unprecedented in this business. So let me just tell you a little bit about within G what we've done within Genai. So obviously we've acquired some businesses, we've acquired new capability with Rivera and we've set up new partnerships with folk like SAP for mobility platforms and so on and we're leveraging off the investments that Telecom Group are making in the, our leading digital network and in the mobile network. But we also need to change not the what we do but the how we do it. And one of my observations is we're too damn slow. And you know what? And we're too damn expensive. That's what I thought when I started. And we've made a lot of change to that. So we've taken about 30% out of our payroll in the last 12 months. And it hasn't been easy and it hasn't been pleasant. And it doesn't mean we got rid of all of those people. Some, some, of, those, some of those parts of the organisation, we've said, actually, why should they be part of Genai? That they need to be out here. So basically, we sold those businesses to the, to the principals. That's what we've done. But in other cases, we've just taken layers out. And we've really sought to speed our business up. If, um, if you were working with us to, uh, to, if you were working with us and asking us to put together a complex proposal, you know, that would used to take weeks. Today, it takes a much, much shorter time. Now, I'm not here to declare victory and say we've got all that nailed. But I'm here to tell you that it's, it's improved by about, it's about only you know, 90% improvement from what it was 12 months ago, and we're going to get faster still. Because the notion we have, at the pace you need to change, we've got to be able to meet, to meet your needs, we've got to be, even be able to change even faster. So a lot of change in our cost, a lot of change in around the agility of our business, a lot of investments that we're making to ensure that we've got the things that you need ahead of when you need them. And in August, we're going to deliver our, our change from... Genai, and we will become Spark Digital Solutions. And the change of brand, it has to be two things. It's got to be credible. So when we, when we say, today we're Spark Digital Solutions, we've got to be able to say to you, and here are the reasons why that is a credible thing. Hear why you should believe that. And I think we can point to a number of those things already, right, in terms of the investment, the capability sets we've made but there'll be even more of that at the time we launch in August. So it's got to be absolutely credible to you and to us. But it also, in part, is going to be aspirational because the day we announce it, we're not going to be the finished article. It's, and the, reason, the reason we are exiting some of these other businesses and marshalling even greater financial resources are so that we have the ability to keep investing in these things that will make this come to life. So in August, when we hit the go button on the brand change, it will be credible. You'll be able to look at it and go, yep, that makes sense. It's, you know, it, 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 these guys, have, there's enough the substance to this, but we will not be the finished article. We have a whole lot more to go. And frankly, it'll never, we'll never get to the end of it. And the same in your own business, you know that change is never ending. And if I was to say to you, we've got there, that's the time you should be really worried because we never quite get there, but by Lord, we're making a lot of changes in the right direction. So, um, ultimately, our success won't be determined by us. It'll actually be determined by you and you know, how successful we are in assisting you and you will be the, the arbiter of whether the things we're doing are the right things or not. We can support you whether you want to, whether you, um, want to acquire your IT input. Some of you buy IT inputs or telecommunications inputs and you take on the burden of putting those things together yourself. And so if you want to buy the components, our objective is to be best in class and provide that to you. But equally, if you want to buy the IT inputs and telecommunications inputs already put together, for example in cloud, in a converged service, we will be best in class to meet that need as well. So whether you wish to keep buying things as individual pieces, or whether you want to buy them put together, pre-put together, our objective, our, our mission is to be there for you and provide the best in class. And we have a huge depth of capability, both in telecommunications and in IT. And when I look at the competitive landscape, 
I see folk that are credible in telecommunications, but don't have so much in IT, and I see folk that you'll all know who are very credible in IT, but don't have so much in the telecommunications. And at Geni, we have a great depth in both. In fact, our business is about half and half, both sort of what you would think of as IT and telco. But more and more organisations are saying to us, can you start putting these things together? So whether you want to buy it individually, or acquire it individually, or whether you're looking at things as the, as the combined package, look to us, we, would, we, would, we will be there for you, and we would love to help you. So Spark Digital Solutions, as we will soon be, we will be here to help you on your journey to digital. And I hope that today, when you leave here this afternoon, you're going to take the inspiration, the insights that you need that will add some real value to your business. So there's one last thing you need to know about me before I wrap up, and that is I am not to be trusted. Because some of you will see the three um, TVs up here. And so the marketing people who know that I have a penchant for continuing to talk longer than I should, helpfully, one of these screens, would you believe, is a stop clock. And that's just to make sure that I don't go over time. And the reason for that is we have an outstanding keynote speaker. And I'm now going to pass over to Mr. McLean, who will introduce that speaker, Geraldine McBride. Thank you very much for listening, guys. Thank you.